How did I not see this happening? How did I not see this coming? Okay. <laughs> We're getting towards the end of the second movie after I had the whole conversation. I'm like, do you want to have kids? <laughs> Ew. He was going to give me a ride home and he had to drop off the cast member. He wanted to be in the front because he's like, you know, the star. So it makes sense. He's like, you're not going to be in the back because he likes to be in the front. So this little awkward moment happened. This dude did some voice acting for a video game. I'm not going to say which one, but it's from a franchise that I love. They were talking. I was like, oh my gosh, she did voice acting for vo like trying to join in the conversation. I'm literally in the fucking back. And he absolutely ignored me. <laughs> Jake, you bitch. Why'd you do that? He ignored me. And I was like, okay. That's why that one isn't my favorite. The one that he was in. Didn't even matter anyway. I didn't really know him, know him. I thought he was in the one that I liked the most. Yeah. So that was weird. And he ignored me. And I kind of just was like quiet the rest of the ride. Like, okay. Got you. I don't matter. <laughs> I don't matter. I'm not driving you. I'm just some random fucking PA in the back of the car. He got dropped off and then he's like, Oh, you can get the phone if you want. Because I was just like sitting in the back. Like, <laughs> like, he's like, Oh, I'm allowed to talk and move now. Okay, cool. And I got in the front of the car. <laughs> He dropped me off and everything and he was nice. And that was just that interaction. I just wanted to say that one because I thought that was funny. I remember now, y'all, I know my memory is not the best. But the final, final day, we had been working for like 18 hours. A long, a long, long periodically long time. Day. Really long day. I got to try VR for the first time. <laughs> Days prior, me and Jake, we, we were carpooling together. Something came up how, like, I like horror movies. Oh, I think I said, are there any new movies you're looking forward to, like, watching or going to see? Listen, listen, I wasn't going to do this. Y'all know what I'm trying to get at when I ask that question. I was not going to ask him until my friend was like, he likes you. Because I remember I, I told y'all, like, I would come home and text her. He did this today. He did that today. I'm giving a full synopsis. She was like, yo, like, he probably likes you like you should ask him you should ask him to go to the movies i was not gonna do it at first but i was like you know what you're right i'll never know if he would have said yes if i don't ask i don't need friends they disappoint me and he's like oh yeah there's this movie that movie i can't even remember what movie it is whatever the hits were of 2019 i guess i was like oh i've been wanting to see that movie too I Like, oh yeah, I want to see this movie, but I don't have anyone to go with. But then it turned into like, oh yeah, like we can go see it together. I don't remember. I I I blacked out at this point because I actually asked and actually said like, oh like we should go together, you know? Ugh. We wanted to see the same movie, and I said I didn't have anyone to go with, and I was like, we should go together. Like I pretty much was like, ugh. <laughs> He was like, yeah, like, yeah, we can go. I don't remember if he said we could or do you want to invite the other production assistants. And when that came up, I was like, oh, so it's not nope. just the game you think. Okay, yeah. That was a bummer. Summer bummer, babe. I just remember like he wanted them to come with us. Oh, we should ask them if they want to go. Oh, we should ask Blank if he wants to go. To call him Andrew, the other production assistant. The one from the first one. We worked on the second movie together too. There were a couple production assistants. We had Andrew, Jessica, Anthony. So all these people. He's like, let's invite them. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, you know. Oh yeah, of course. Just acting like I'm cool with it. Girl, inside I was like, what <laughs> Bitch, I'm dying. Bitch, I'm dying. I'm literally dying inside. Like, okay. I thought I had something. I thought we had something special. And then that's when I realized, like, let me just chill and back off. Like, I literally was just chilling, backing off at that point. Because I was like, okay, if you didn't want to hang out with just me, I get you. I gotcha. And that was the last day we were going to be there together. So when we got there, he was like, Oh yeah, Andrew, do you want to go to the movies with us? We're going to go to blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh yeah, we're going to go see that, that, that. I'm like, you should go. Bitch, I'm dying. Because at that point, girl, that was a, a gathering. That was an outing. That was no longer a date. And I didn't care anymore. I was like, well, whatever. <laughs> we had what we had, Jake. Okay? We had what we had. And it's gone. 
He was like, yeah, I'm down, let's go. I'm not even gonna lie, the whole day I was kind of just like bummed. Cause I was like, oh, this is the start to my day. Rejection. But I still did my job, you know, whatever. But I made sure to just like be a little more distant. I feel weird. <laughs> I feel weird, I feel weird. Like it's not his fault, but like I felt weird as fuck. And I was thinking the whole time, bitch, why did you ask? Why did you ask? You shouldn't have said nothing. But if I didn't know, I wouldn't have been able to feel that way. So needed to know, okay? Sometimes you just need to know. It was at the end of the day. It was a long, long day. Packing up everything. It was like sun up to sun up. Like literally, I got there in the morning. I didn't leave until the next morning. It was like five o'clock in the morning. The sun was up, babes. It was grueling. I was delirious, okay? <laughs> Cause like, you know when you're on a set as a production assistant, it's frowned upon to go sit down. You shouldn't be just sitting down because it shows that you're not doing something when you very well much have something to do. If you're not doing something, then why are you here? It's kind of that type of vibe. Not that they would be rude, but they would be like, uh, did you want to go check on this? Did you want to, you know, to like be a little passive aggressive? It was like that for 18 hours. Except I did, I did have a little bit more, a few more chances to sit down. Y'all, I was doing keto at the time and I kept being so annoying about it. Being like, yeah, like I'm losing weight. I kept trying to mention him that I'm losing weight because I was like, oh, he's going to be like, yeah, she going to be skinny. Like, ew, this, this is uh, just literally so pick me. So many, so much pick me energy to just let him know, like, just hang in there. I'm Getting skinny, just wait. It was very fun. We had a whole luau and everything. Although I did have that uh, catastrophe in the morning. I was like, it's okay. Like we had a good time. I was just ready to go home. I was like, yes, yes, yes. He was gonna drive me back home. I just don't even want to think about how cringy I was. Cause at that point I was like, I'm never gonna see this dude again. I don't know if I didn't think I would see him again. But at that point, I knew he didn't like me, so I kind of was just doing whatever. And I remember we drove past Taco Bell, and I was just being so delusional. I ain't delusional like we like each other, but just literally sleep exhaustion. Ew, I hate thinking back. We drove past Taco Bell on the way to my house. I was like, oh my God, do you like Taco Bell? <laughs> What the fuck am I saying? Like, I was just saying everything. We was listening to Tyler the Creator. I was like, ooh, play, play Tyler the Creator. And I was like, yes, I love Tyler the Creator. Okay. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing. This is when I realized just a few minutes ago. How did I not see this happening? How did I not see this coming? Oh, that's why that happened. And I didn't expect, I didn't see it coming. That was important. We were listening to Tyler the Creator. I'm just being like, oh, do you like Taco Bell? Taco Bell is so fire. I was like, yeah, you don't get this body from eating salads. Very cringe. <laughs> Something very cringe. And I'm like, what was I talking about? Like, like you would think I was drunk. My brain, my brain wasn't thinking. It wasn't doing anything. Bruh, I was just delusional. He was like laughing and everything. Like, this, this bitch is crazy. I mean, it's kind of funny to look back on, but like still I'm very cringed out. He dropped me off and then I said something about like, oh, I'll text you about the movie. So that's how that ended. That was the last movie set I ever worked on with him. I don't know if that was his choice or what, but that was the last one I ever worked on. Cause I only worked on like one more big movie and then I was done. Not that I was done, but I just didn't have any time. I think I put us all in a group chat and I was like, when are y'all down to see the movie? I still wanted to hang out with him, even though I knew like it wasn't gonna be like that. Plus I wanted to see the movie for real. I'm like, hey, whatever. Like I'm down to see the movie still. They never responded. They never got back to me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I know. Y'all, y'all literally fake as hell, whatever. And that was like it. Like I only saw him ever on Instagram. Now let's flash forward to what the title of this video is. I went to the Tyler Creator concert that same year. I was super hype and I did not think I was gonna see him there, okay? I did not think I was gonna see him there. I went there with my friend and her ex-boyfriend at the time. Yes, it was so weird. I literally got the ticket from her because she broke up with her boyfriend and then she sold me his ticket. And then he ended up buying the ticket to go with us anyway, cause they were still cool with each other. I'm like, okay, uh, I still get to go see Tyler, so whatever. That was like, <laughs> just a weird detail. We get to the concert, I looked cute. Let's insert some footage. And I was giving, I was living, I was living, I was everything. I'm used to being at concerts in the pit. We were in the stands. We were like in the seats and I did not want to do that. My friend was also in the film program with me. The one that Jake came to and spoke at. So let's call my friend, let's call her Angel. Angel snuck in some vodka in a water bottle. 
I was like, oh my God, like we're about to drink vodka. Like, oh my God. Cause I was not drinking like at all, really. I drank like once before. I'm like, I took just the littlest bits, y'all. Cause I'm like, mm, that's doing too much. There was, n we had no water, no juice, nothing with it. Literally just the fucking bottle. <laughs> of vodka. I, I guess that's what made me a little bit more adventurous. I don't know what made me more adventurous, but I was like, let's try and go sneak into the pit. Let's go, bro. Let's try it. So I'm like, as long as we walk with purpose, don't matter about our wristbands. Don't, don't matter. None of that matters. We're getting in there. Because I saw other people doing it, right? I'm like, let's go, let's go. But we try and go walk in. And at the bottom of the steps, our two big security guards like, where's your wristband? I was like, I started joking with them like oh my god like can't you just look the other way or so like just trying to joke with them like be like be chill bitch like like you you're security guard just be chill like literally i went to a concert for choice of on and the person who was working the pit literally let me and my friend in a whole different friend at the house of blues it was chill so i was thinking the same thing would happen here it didn't they were like not amused they were like girl mm -mm, no they were not chill at all girl so i was like okay let's walk all the way back up jaden smith is opening for tyler creator and i like him i got into his music solely because i was going to that concert so i'm like vibe i'm like damn there's like there was nobody like honestly i was shocked there was almost nobody in the pit go, go! There's probably at the most like a hundred people at the most probably way less than that maybe 50 like there was almost nobody down there so i'm like bro like there's nobody there you can let me in there's nobody there so i'm watching jaden smith perform his whole set with the most dead fucking crowd ever and i'm like dance to all the songs i knew this i knew the words like i studied them for like two days i knew all the words i'm like well okay whatever so then Jaden gets off and Tyler is about to get on set. And keep in mind, oh my God, this was months later, okay? So this also ties into a whole nother story. I was in like a situationship thing with this other dude and it was horrible, so horrible. If y'all want a story time on that, please leave a comment down below saying more story times. <laughs> that, one, that one was bad. I was literally at this concert thinking about this, this new, I literally forgot all about Jay. The new dude, let's call him Aaron. Aaron, I'm like literally thinking about him the whole concert. I'm like in my emotions, y'all. I'm like just so emotional because a lot of Tyler's songs on that album and some of the ones he's made before are just like about being obsessive. I want you to like to myself. I'm kind of crazy like that. But before Tyler actually started to perform, me, Angel, and Angel's boyfriend walked to a whole nother section to try to get down into the pit. Dude, like if they won't let us in, let's try over there. I'm walking with them to this whole other section. If I would have never walked over there, this would have never happened. I'm going down to the to the pit. Can we get in? And they were like, no, where's your wristband? You fucking idiot. I'm like, okay, never mind. We do the embarrassing walk of shame back up the stairs. And as I'm walking, I hear, Brianna? And I'm like, who the fuck? Who just called my name? And I turn. <laughs> I turn. And it's him. It's Jay. Jake is like, oh my God, what are you doing? I, and keep in mind, I hadn't spoken to him in like maybe four months at this point. It was a while. And we never went to see the fucking movie or anything like that. So I'm like, oh, hey, like, what are you doing here? Now, remember, we were in the car the final day that I ever saw him listening to Tyler, the creator. And he was like, oh, like, I didn't even know he was gonna be here. I'm like, yeah, I'm just here with Angel because he knows Angel through the program. I'm like, oh my God, yeah, like, how you been? Blah, 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 all that blah, blah, blah stuff. He's like, oh my God, what have you been up to? And at this point, I was working as like a video editor intern and everything. I wasn't doing any more like film sets and I kind of made it really brief. Like we could have chatted more, but like, I was like, oh yeah, you know, like I'm literally talking to him as I'm walking up the stairs at this point I'm like yeah but like you know I I'll catch you later and that was that <laughs> yeah later that night when Tyler finally came on I was in my section again and I looked at them and I was like everybody was standing oh the pit I'm like 
I'm about to go right now. I remember making eye contact with the, the two guards earlier. They were like, um, where's your wristbands? And ignoring them completely as I ran through. And I know, I know it's their job. Have some compassion. Have some compassion, babes. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to go see him. I know it's a capacity thing. I'm not hating on security guards. My my friend Angel and her boyfriend, we all made it into the pit. Everything. It was chef's kiss. It was so fun. So fast forward later, I have not spoken to Jake, like, ever, ever since that one night at the concert. I, I don't even know what he's up to, so if you're seeing this, thanks for the amazing story time. <laughs> this was funny to look back on, and I hope you're doing well. If you haven't subscribed, you should, and if you haven't liked it, I hope you would. Peace. Running with you in